Today is Wednesday, September 14, 2022, and I haven't done a video in a while. And my video about the Queen um, pretty much came true. And the, I mean, corrections, I am about the King of England pretty much came true. And there go the funeral of the Queen right there. Now, this is the telepathic information that I received from the holy extraterrestrial homo sapiens superiors from outer space the ones that teleported me and also brought that big giant massive huge spacecraft um bust through the uh, the atmosphere paused in midair then did a perfect right turn to outer space and i wasn't the only one that saw that now check this out it was about 140,000, i suspect people out here where I uh, where I lived at at the time in October of 2003 in Halton City, um, seeing that spacecraft, and these are people that are driving up and down the street and walking outside. The homeless people that were sleeping outside, the people that was at the grocery store, people pumping gas at their gas station. You know who knows what type of adventure they were going on. Maybe coming from work or something like that, or going to go get a pizza or some hamburgers. And they all, we all saw that big, massive, huge ball of light spacecraft bust through the atmosphere, pulse in the air, and do a perfect right change to outer space. It was so massively, massively huge. It looked like it could have easily been like an asteroid about to hit the planet and slam into it. Um, but anyway, then seven days later, I was teleported out of my mom's house and met the guys who was flying the spacecraft, which was these um, white extraterrestrial uh well let me correct myself and say white holy extraterrestrial homo sapiens superiors from outer space from a different solar system or you can call them the bosses which is also known as god and then also don't forget gods translate into allah so god is allah and allah is god if you think about it that's why adam and eve and um um abraham and Jesus and Mary is in the Quran, just like they're in the Bible. And also for y'all people that are watching this, don't forget the Islamic religion is only 500 years um, younger than the Christianity religion. And I can prove it because the Prophet Muhammad um, was birthed into the world 500 years after Jesus Christ of Nazareth was resu uh, resurrected from the grave. Then 500 years later, Muhammad was birthed into the world. Then Muhammad wrote the Quran, and that's why Jesus and Mary is also in the Quran. Because in order for Muhammad to write about Jesus and Mary, meant he had to exist after Jesus and Mary. You know, <laughs> uh, so that's why Jesus and Mary. And so that's all the proof and evidence I need to get uh, give y'all that the Quran is 500 years, uh, that the Islamic religion is 500 years younger than the Christian religion. And don't forget what the Apostle Paul said, that one day the Christians will rule the world. And what he means by that, he doesn't mean like one government. He means like the Christian nations throughout the whole entire world are going to be the most dominant nations on the planet, which we're pretty much already there at this point. That's why the Muslims uh, try to act like they want to be radical sometimes. But I don't have nothing against them because I'm well educated. I seek the wisdom of an angel. And Michael and Gabriel is in the Quran. And Michael and Gabriel is also in the Bible. Gabriel is in the book of Daniel, chapter 8, when he met, uh, when uh, Daniel met Gabriel for the first time. And then Michael is in Revelations chapter 12, verse 1 through 12, if I'm not mistaken. And I forgot the. Um, verse and book that Michael and Gabriel was in the Quran but it was only like a it was only like a quote that said something such as uh those who disobey Allah was are going to receive something um the curses of something and then then it had a quote about Michael and Gabriel I, I don't want to get into I, I really don't remember I do have a Quran but I don't read it like I uh I don't study it like I study my Word of God, you know, my Torah, my Tanaka, Kabbalah. 
And yes, I have a Holy Bible because I need the New Testament as well. And it's for some strange reason, the New Testament can only be found in the Bible. But anyway, that's going off subject. Um, back to what I was talking about. <sighs> Mr. Prince Charles, you're only... Um, 20 years is all you get. That's what I heard. Um, from the telepathic information from the extraterrestrials. You only had this throne for 20 years, and then your son Harry would get it afterwards. And now, I don't know if that means you're going to die, or if you're just going to have a stroke, or be in a wheelchair or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe you won't pass away. Maybe you just be incapacitated to the point where you can't rule anymore, because you're too old. Um, or maybe you do pass. Who knows? I can't see into the future. All I am is a human parakeet. I hear telepath, extra, holy extraterrestrial, homo sapiens superiors say something like, ah, Polly wants a cracker. And then that's all I do is say, ah, Polly wants a cracker. <laughs> but they tell me something and then I can tell it's not my thought and it's not my personality and not my individuality. Uh, my conscious awareness of oneself that's within my mind that identifies myself as myself. Um, when I understand that it's not me, I try to focus in a little bit and slow down and listen to what they're saying. Um, and, um, and they even sometimes help me with my route. When I drive up and down the street, they tell me to take a right or a left, and I do that. And come to find out I avoided a traffic jam um, or a uh, wild, crazy police officer just looking for a black guy to ride a ticket to or something. <laughs> um I love it. And then also, some, most of the time when they had me uh, direct my traffic, I hit old green lights. It's amazing. Um, but Mr. Charles, they only said 20 years. And Mr. Harry is going to get it afterwards. And thank you all very much. And Smith out.